A very good morning, amigos, from just outside the Pueblo Magico of Santiago here in Nuevo León. Today, we're at the Cola de Caballo Waterfall. I love waterfalls. Not gonna lie, I thought the waterfall would be a little bigger. <laughs> it's still pretty though. It is it is incredibly jungly through here. It's like a rainforest. It's like super moist and damp. It is, it's, it's awesome. Beautiful so far. Beautiful so far. But the real test will be the horses! The horses tail. Okay. Ya llegamos, Martín. La cola de caballo, ¿no? Cola de caballo, ahí está. <laughs> ahí está. No, no. I'm about to go real deep. They're all so different and unique, kind of like us, but... <laughs> okay, done. No, they really are all so different. Some are like cascades yeah. more so, with lots of rocks. Others, others are kind of like this, where like it falls straight, straight down, down there into some cascades. I love waterfalls. When we came uh, to Monterrey last time, like almost every comment was like, you have to go to uh, La Colo de Caballo, you have to go to Santiago, the Pueblo Mexico, which yeah. we're going to do that. And then you have to go to Chipinque and La Huasteca. Uh -huh. And uh, I fully understand why now. I feel like yeah. now we can fully, more fully appreciate what is Monterrey and what is yeah. Nuevo León and what is El Norte de Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's like what I said about Guanajuato, Guanajuato the other day. It's like, how can you not be happy looking at that? It's, it really is pretty. I hope that the video is doing justice, but that's not a green screen. Not a green screen. It is 25 meters tall, which yeah. is about how many feet? Um, 75. About 75 feet tall. Awesome. And fun fact that Martin told us is that it is not natural. It is, uh, it is basically man-made from many many years ago but it is not a natural waterfall but nonetheless it's awesome it's a lot better than the horse's tail we saw earlier yeah <laughs> Chasing waterfalls. What? Starts raining on us. Maybe it rained on a little bit. Starts raining on us. I'm not gonna dampen my spirits. <laughs> <You're> dampening <laughs> everything else. <laughs> no, it is again similar to uh, Chipinque and La Huasteca. I'm so glad that it's like this because otherwise I feel like uh, from what you guys have told us it would be hot. Scalding. <laughs> I've seen I've seen dogs bigger than this thing. He visto perros más grande. <laughs> Probably hard to see on camera at all, but I mean it is uh, lush. Lush. There's also bungee jumping. Don't do it. No, it's like uh, how far? Uh, 200 like, meters off the ground. 
No. 200 feet. I think it's, oh, it was okay. 70 yeah, meters. <laughs> 200 meters would be pretty good. 200 feet. You want to do it? Let's do it. No. Cool. No. I want to keep making vlogs with you forever. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing it. How much is it? First a waterfall, now the beach? Kind of. This is Monterrey's version of the beach. This is La Presa del Boca. Uh-huh, I believe. Something like that. I think that might be the unofficial name. It's a pretty large lake with amazing views in the mountains and... Yeah, he uh, said on the weekends there's like floating restaurants and boats <laughs> you can take, music, tons of seafood, which is yeah. a bit confusing, but it does seem like on the weekends it would be awesome. <laughs> ¿Cuántos años tiene esta iglesia? 270 años. Como mi suegra. <laughs> has momentarily stopped and it's allowing us to attempt to go up to this little mirador, mirador. mirador. but there's still uh, lightning and thunder I guess those kind of go together but uh, it's dangerous <laughs> that's how we roll that's how the thunder rolls <laughs> 